Hello, I'm Jim McWilliam from White Plains, New York, and I'm going to talk about minimally invasive surgery on the foot with regards to bunionette deformity. So if there's a large intermetatarsal 4 slash 5 angle or if there's significant lateral bowing of the 5th metatarsal, you might want to perform your correction via a more proximal osteotomy, and I'll show you how that's done, and I'll show you an alternative fixation method. Now here we've marked the trajectory of the fifth metatarsal in both the lateral plane and the AP plane, and I'm going to use that sort of as a rough guide for where I'm going to do my fixation. So this is going to be the trajectory of my screw. You can see that instead of being in the high and inside position of a traditional Jones screw, it's going to be going right through the fifth metatarsal styloid. And I'm going to make my osteotomy where the wire crosses the medial cortex of the fifth metatarsal. So my osteotomy is going to be roughly here. More proximal. I might even shift it a little more proximal than that. X-ray that. So right about there. Before the watershed zone of a zone 3 proximal fifth metatarsal. But we're going to be proximal enough that we're going to get a good level of correction. All right, so we're going to make our incision. I will typically make the incision directly lateral. And that will kind of allow me to do a long oblique osteotomy. I'll use my little elevator. Remember, this has the ideal curve to minimally elevate the periosteum dorsally and plantarly to kind of minimize soft tissue disruption but allow enough exposure. All right, so once again, I'm going to go straight across just like I have with the other osteotomy. All right. X-ray. So I've gone across the, I've gone across the entirety of the bone. Now remember, there's a declination of the fifth metatarsal. So if I just rotate my hand proximally, I'm going to be cutting distally and the dorsal cortex. Then I've gone through there. Now similarly, if I rotate my hand proximally and maybe direct it down just a little bit, I'm going to be cutting proximally and the plantar cortex. You can see I've got my shift there. So this guide wire is a little bit easier to work with. It's the 1.6 millimeter guide wire for the four millimeter beveled screw. And because it's 1.6 millimeters, it's gonna be a lot easier to get my direction that I want. So I'm literally starting at the fifth metatarsal styloid and I'm gonna drive it into the osteotomy line, kind of ideally hugging that medial cortex when I get to the osteotomy. And then we'll check on the lateral and make sure we're in the appropriate orientation there as well. We're pretty good there. So now it's simply going to be a function of moving the metatarsal over and driving the guide wire across the osteotomy in an intramedullary position. So I've got my metatarsal shifted. I've got my guide wire in the right position. So now we're just going to drive the guide wire across. You see how just putting the guide wire in this trajectory across the osteotomy site actually forces the fifth metatarsal medially affecting your correction. So we've got good correction, we've got good position of the wire in this plane. Let's check a lateral. And we've got good correction. You can see I actually cracked the dorsal cortex a little bit with my osteotomy, but we should get good adequate fixation distally without any problem. So now I'm going to use this wire as a guide for my incision and it just minimizes trauma to the skin and it enhances cosmesis. So I'm going to take the back end of the blade and just push it down. This is an 11 blade. I'm just going to push it down along the guide wire to the fifth metatarsal. So I'm good there. Now we'll take our measuring device. It's beveled to allow us to more closely measure the appropriate depth. We're going to check that the bevel's facing in the right direction and everything's lined up well. And we still have maintained our medial shift of the distal metatarsal. I'm going to drive this wire out the tip because not only is it our guide for the screw, but it's our provisional fixation. And it's just not worth having to do everything over again. We're going to drill over this under fluoro. Not necessarily wanting to go through the medial cortex. All right, we're pretty good there. So if we line up the laser line on the drill with the laser line on the screw, we know what side the bevel is going to be on 
once the screw is buried in the soft tissue. It's just a little visual guide. It only works as long as you keep the driver engaged on the screw. So once the driver is no longer engaged, you're going to have to do it with fluoro. So there's our final fixation, our final correction in the AP plane. And there's the lateral.